Hi guys, this is Guy, the Prince of Crypto. Before I get going on this review of Metaverse, I want to make it clear that we are not paid or mandated to do any of these videos. Moreover, I'm not a financial advisor and this should not be interpreted as financial advice. We do our research and present our views for educational purposes only. Oh, and one more thing. If you're new to this channel, then you may want to hit that subscribe button to keep up to date with the latest and greatest in the crypto space. Now, with all of that out of the way, let's get right back to Metaverse. Metaverse is developing a financial system where your digital identity and digital assets become the foundation for all of your financial transactions. On a less abstract level, the mission of Metaverse is to change the way financial services are offered and transactions are processed. They plan on doing this by improving identity verification systems and by creating a global network of digital assets, digital identities and value intermediaries. In the past, it has been labelled as the Ethereum of China, which is indeed quite a brave comparison. So, is there any merit to this? Well, let's take a closer look at their technology. Although Metaverse has been compared to Ethereum, there is one unique feature that differentiates it. Metaverse is focused on smart assets, whereas Ethereum is focused on smart contracts. Having said that, Metaverse does use the same proof-of-work algorithm as Ethereum, that's Etash. However, the development team is working on another consensus mechanism that will be called Heartbeat Token Height Delegated Proof of Stake. <laughs> Quite a mouthful. So this will be Delegated Proof of Stake Consensus, that's DPoS mechanism. There are quite a few flaws with traditional DPoS networks, and that's why the developers have brought on the heartbeat and token height concept. I won't go into these here, but if you want more information, then you can always read our long form review in the link below. Now, another really interesting concept is that of the Metaverse Smart Tokens, that's MST. These are essentially tokenized smart contracts that can be spent, registered, transferred, issued, deposited, or even burned. Quite impressive. Now, the utility token behind the Metaverse network is the ETP token. This is used within the ecosystem as a method to pay fees to the miners or the developers. It will also be used as collateral for the staking. There is a total supply of 100 million ETP tokens and the current circulating supply is about 70% of this. These ETP tokens were issued in an ICO that took place back in September of 2016. Each ETP token was sold for about 30 cents and the project was able to raise a total of $2 million. Since ETP hit the open markets, it has been through quite a volatile roller coaster ride. It reached all time highs of over $6 in June of 2017 and again towards the end of 2017. However, the token took a big hit through the 2018 bear market together with the rest of the altcoin complex. Moving on though, let's take a closer look at the broader metaverse project. The Metaverse team is located in Shanghai, China. The founder, Eric Gu, was actually one of the founders of NEO, but decided to leave the project to build Metaverse. The rest of the team have pretty diverse backgrounds and include software engineers, blockchain developers and data scientists. There are also a whole host of partnerships that Metaverse has entered into with other blockchain projects and companies. These include the likes of Aeon, Agrello, GChain, etc. They've also partnered with Draper Dragon, which is a subsidiary of the Draper Investment Company. Now, in terms of trading, ETP is listed on a range of exchanges, including Right BTC, Bitfinex, Huobi, etc. Not the best list of exchanges, but reasonable enough. There appears to be pretty strong volumes across these exchanges, and this bodes well for the liquidity of the token and means that you can easily execute large block orders without much slippage. Once you have your ETP, you are probably going to want to store them in an offline wallet. Currently, you don't have that much choice when it comes to storage options. Perhaps your best bet is to use the official Metaverse wallet. This is available in a desktop, mobile and web wallet version. Unfortunately, there's no hardware wallet support for ETP at this stage. A shame. So, in conclusion, Metaverse is no doubt quite an ambitious project. They're developing some really innovative technology and have a strong team pushing it forward. Moreover, they have a pretty extensive roadmap ahead of them which could further propel the project. Having said that, I think it will still be some time before the project can really challenge the likes of Ethereum or NEO. They also have to focus on increasing awareness for the project starting with more support on other exchanges. So, what do you think of Metaverse? Do you have any questions for me? Hit me up in the comments below. And of course, if you found this video helpful, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Much more crypto coverage will be on its way.